Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 31 in Python playlist. This is continuation to previous video which is dictionaries in Python. So please watch previous video before watching this video. In our previous video, we have already discussed about what is dictionaries in Python and we have discussed about how to access item, how to remove item, how to change any item or how to add any item to dictionary. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to loop through in the dictionary and how to copy one dictionary to the another how to create nested dictionaries that means dictionaries will contain inside also dictionaries i mean dictionaries will usually hold key values right so value is going to be another dictionary so how to create that nested dictionaries and how what are the dictionary methods which are very most frequently used ones so this is what we are going to discuss about in this video so firstly let's discuss about how to loop through dictionary we can use for loop to loop through dictionaries and we can either use uh, this dictionary name itself directly to loop or you can use uh, this dictionary with values function or items function or keys function. We have seen that values functions, item functions and keys function in past. If you haven't seen also, don't worry. Let me go to Visual Studio Code and let me try to practically show you that. So this is my Visual Studio Code here. So here, let's try to create a dictionary called my dictionary. And here, dictionaries will contain open flower bracket and closed flower bracket, right? So here, let's create a key called ID. Value is going to be one. And another key called maybe name and this value is going to be my here let's say so this is my dictionary now if i want to loop through this dictionary uh, so we should use comma here let me put the comma here if you want to loop through this dictionary as i said we can use this for for each item from the dictionary so for each item to hold one we should have one variable let's assume x is one variable in my dictionary from my dictionary take each item and then loop through that is what we are trying to do and then inside the loop we are trying to print the x variable that each item so if you use like this right what will you will get it actually for each iteration you will get keys actually that means id and name let me practically show you that here so let me run this code then see i got id and name why because if you use the variable name of dictionary directly then it is going to return you all the keys from the dictionary that means id and name for the first iteration id will go into x variable and that's what printed for the second iteration name will go into x variable and that's what it printed so what if, if i want to access the values then what you can do if you have the key name then you know something called uh, this uh, uh, index syntax from my previous video so my dictionary x of your key name if you use like this right then it is going to uh, let me correct this syntax here so then it is going to get the value of that particular key so let me save these changes here now let me try to run this code see this time i got values one and y why because I used the indexer syntax by passing that key to get the values. Not only that, instead of doing all this, what you can do, you can uh, let me remove all this. Let me keep x only here. So here, instead of looping through my dictionary keys, I can loop through on the values also. In our previous video, we have discussed this values function is going to get all the values from the dictionary. And fr from those values, we are looping through and printing them. So let me run this code. See, we got the values printed. So not only that, in our past videos we have discussed there is something called items function that is going to get you key and value both, right? And let's try to print the key and value both first and see what it will print and then let's try to correct that to get a better better, better understanding also. See, now if I executed, for the first iteration, uh, this key value pair came, id and, ID and value. Now in the second iteration, this key value came into the x variable and that's what printed. What if, if I want to take this key into one variable and value into another variable during the iterations, what you can do? You can use like this x comma y. So in this case, what happened? This items is going to give you key values as a list and for each iteration, one key value will come. Key will come into this one, value will come into this variable. And uh, while printing, I can print both x comma y both. Now let me save these changes and let me execute my demo.python file. Now if you see, in the first iteration, x came as id and then y came as 1 for the second iteration x came as name y came as mahir so like this you can access the key values separately by passing these items okay items function will give you all the items in the key values as a list now let me go to the presentation so this is what we have discussed how to loop through the dictionary now let's assume if you want to copy dictionary one dictionary into another one will it possible it is of course possible but you cannot use like this for example you have i have a my dictionary here if I want to copy this my dictionary to new dictionary, maybe like this new dictionary variable, then I should yeah, I should not use this kind of syntax. What will happen in this case? This new dictionary variable is also going to refer to the same data which is there 
in this variable so if any change happened inside this variable data then automatically changes will be reflected in this variable change also why because it is not copying the dictionary into new variable it is only creating some reference so that's why whenever you want to copy dictionary into a new variable then you should use couple of ways one is using this copy method and another one is use this dictionary constructor itself construction constructor itself so let me show you that so in this my dictionary i can use this copy function which is going to take that dictionary data and place it here so that's why that means i am copying the data into this new variable now here let's try to print directly this new dictionary so let me save these changes and here let me clear screen and let me execute demo.python file see i got the data in the new dictionary not only this as i said what i can do i can use this dictionary syntax or dictionary constructor for the dictionary constructor i can pass my existing dictionary so take the data existing this this variable data that means this dictionary data take that and construct one new dictionary and place that new dictionary into this variable so that's what it is doing let me save this and now let me run this code see we got the same thing so and uh, if i want to uh, nested dictionary means nothing but like key will contain another dictionary as a value if you see here child1 is key and value is another dictionary this one similarly child2 is key value is another dictionary so this is also possible basically you can keep values as a another dictionaries or child dictionaries also so that is also possible so if i pay, if you, let me practically show you that here so my dictionary so let's assume here i have a key called like child1 so whenever you use keys i should use it in uh, like this right child1 and value can be another dictionary like this so child1 here maybe like uh, so let me use a key leaving name name so i'm using name maybe a b c d something okay and uh, then let's try to use maybe year year key and let's try to use year as maybe some year randomly i'm just typing so this is also possible if you see here this dictionary contains this is key and from here to here value and this value is again a dictionary so this is called next dictionary so now if i try to print this so let me print this my dictionary let me save these changes and if i run this uh, see you 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 will get it so you will get it so the, here what i am doing is uh, all this uh, uh, dictionary values i created a separate variables see child1 one, one dictionary child2 another dictionary child3 another dictionary then these variables i am using as a values for my keys inside the actual dictionary so like this it is possible and this is called next dictionary and these are some of the useful methods in the dictionary so clear we know it will from the previous video it will clear all the items copy from this video we know that it is it will help you to copy the dictionary into the new variable from keys we have and tried you guys can try it as a homework so it is going to return a dictionary with a specified keys and values get we have discussed in our past video it is going to return a value of the specified key items is going to give you tuple of the key value pairs we have seen that in our past video and this video too keys is going to return all the keys as a list pop is going to help you to remove item Uh, from the uh, dictionary pop item is also going to do the same thing but to pop will take the key name and it will remove them set default is a function which we haven't tried you can try that this is going to returns the value of the specified key if the key does not exist then insert the key with the specified value so that is what it will do you guys can try as a homework update we have seen our in our previous video that will help you to change the value in the dictionary or you can add a new key value pair to the dictionary value is going to return all the values of the dictionary as a list so we have seen this also in our previous videos so that's it in this video so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much